Hey, in this video, what I'd like to do is find an expression for n minus 1 double factorial over n double factorial. And we want that expression to not have any double factorials, but it can have factorials. And in the previous video, I did an introduction on double factorials. We derived these formulas on the right, including the definition of the double factorial. If you need to review that or you're just interested, I'll provide a link in the description and you can watch that one. Okay, to get started, we're going to need to do this in two cases because the expression is going to be different depending if n is odd or even. So to start, I'm gonna assume this n is even. So if n is even, we can very easily get this expression for just n double factorial, as we have this formula over here. So we can express this as 2k times k factorial, where k equals n over two. Okay, and then for n minus one double factorial, we know n minus one must be odd if n is even. But instead of using our formula for the odd end, just because I don't want to confuse the different k's with a different definition, let's use the first formula. If we just divide by an n double factorial here, we have n factorial over n double factorial from the first formula. But actually, we just found this value right here, so we know what this is going to be. It's going to be 2k k factorial. So all we need to do now is divide these two to get our expression up here. So we're gonna have n factorial. So dividing these two, we're gonna have n factorial over 2k k factorial, and then dividing the n double factorial here, we just get another 2k k factorial. Then let's just rearrange it so we're multiplying, we rearrange the order. So this is gonna be 2k times 2k, but that's gonna be two to the 2k k factorial, k factorial, but 2k, if k is n over two, or this definition, n is just 2k, so we can write this as n factorial, two to the n, k factorial, k factorial. And this here is fine, but what we can do is we, we, do, we can do a little shorthand, and we can write the one over two n as a half n, then you notice n factorial over k factorial times k factorial is actually the definition of n choose k for the binomial coefficient. So you can use this expression as well. Okay, next what I wanna do is we wanna find the exact same expression, but now we're assuming that n is odd. I just want a little notation, so I'm gonna call this y n our n minus one double factorial over n factorial. And so this is the value we want to find, but then let's just look at what happens in the case of y of y sub n minus 1. We're going to have n minus 2 double factorial in the numerator, and then we're going to have n minus 1 double factorial in the denominator. Now, if we flip this, if we look at the reciprocal, 1 over y and y sub n minus 1, we're going to have n minus 1 double factorial over n minus two double factorial. And we start to notice, it's actually we have the same numerator now as the expression we want. And then from here, what we could do, let's just multiply both sides by a one over n. And then you'll notice what happens here. We have n minus one double factorial in the numerator, but n times n minus two double factorial, it ends up looking exactly like that, which is just n double factorial. So we've actually kind of rearranged this so that we have precisely our y sub n, which is what we're looking for. How is this helpful? Well, it's helpful because y n, if n is odd, then n minus 1 is even, and we know how to find the even expression. Now, if we wanted, we could, we could just derive it. Even though it's odd, it's just a little harder. We could still derive it this way. I think dealing with the even case is just a little simpler and easier to see. So then using that, we have our, our y sub n that we want, 1 over n times 1 over, and this y n minus 1, we have a formula for that. Okay, that's this up here. Um, let's use this version because we don't want to get confused with our uh, n choose k notation. So plugging in and using this formula, so we're going to have, instead of n, we'll be plugging in n minus 1 in each place. So we're going to have n minus 1 factorial here over two to the n minus one times k factorial times k factorial, where k equals n minus one over two. 
So then all we need to do now is we just need to flip this into the numerator. So we're going to have 2 times n minus 1 times k factorial times k factorial over n times n minus 1 factorial. But then you'll notice n times n minus 1 factorial, this whole thing is actually just n factorial. So rewriting this for our final formula for the odd case, we're going to have 2 times n minus 1 times k factorial times k factorial over n factorial. Oh, and you may be wondering why I took this, I chose this specific um, example, and it's because this formula is useful with the Wallace integral and other like power reducing integrals. So I wanted to actually go over it so we had something explaining how, where this came from before I did any videos on those integrals. Anyway, stopping it there. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.